Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're doing very fabulous. So today I'm bare faced in all my bare face glory. I'm gonna do a full face. Nothing fancy, nothing new. Some of my products that I have are staples in my collection that I use all the time. And then some of the makeup that I have that I'm gonna use is new to me. I do have my face already prepped with primers. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish. This is just a sample size. Um, it's the Smooth and Blur Primer. And then of course I'm using my trusted, a very faithful, trusted Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have very oily eyelids and this works phenomenal. Um, but before I get into the rest of the face, my name is Carrie. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And for those of you who already subscribed, you guys are the best. You guys are amazing. You're wonderful. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate every single one of you. All right, so let's get in with some foundation. I'm going to use the Born This Way. This is the matte 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. It's good stuff. I'm in natural beige. I usually just put a pump on my finger on this side of my face. And then I put another pump on that side of my face. I know it seems like a lot, but I like to cover everything. <laughs> So I'm going to use my Anissa brush. No, this is not Anissa. I'm going to use my Anissa brush. This is the Pinnacle Foundation Brush. It is phenomenal, you guys. I can't say enough good things about Anissa Beauty. As far as their face brushes go, they are phenomenal. All right, so I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to... For me... Uh, kind of doing a stippling motion works better for my skin um, versus the rubbing. Uh, not to say that I would never rub, but to get it actually kind of blended, I'm going to just continue to kind of just smash it into the face. <laughs> because of all my fine lines, my texture, my wrinkles, um, I don't want to do a lot of rubbing. So this this way gives me a more even application. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with concealer. This is my favorite concealer. In fact, I'm gonna to have to buy a new concealer um, because I'm almost hit pan on it. This is the Essence Keep Me Covered and I am in Shell. I think it's 04 Shell. I had to like really scrape like on the bottom of it to get it, all, to get it out. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to do an Ulta trip here. And then I'm going to use my Anissa brush. Where are you? I'm gonna use the Anissa angled contour um, brush. The, no, <laughs> it's the angled concealer brush. I'm like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Uh, but it is so perfect. This brush right here, just underneath my eyes here, oh man, it just works so perfectly. And the under eye area is such a sensitive area. I mean, on me anyways, like it's tender, you know? So you need a brush, um, either use your fingers or you, you, sometimes I like to use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge, but this Anissa brush, look how it just perfectly gets right here. It just perfectly gets right here. But it's also soft that it doesn't hurt my under eye area when I do this stippling kind of motion. Okay, that is blended out. Now we need to set it. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Labs under eye setting, very fancy name, but it's, it's a setting powder. Okay, but I will link, I'll link it below though. <laughs> These companies with their fancy names and <laughs> And you guys, I don't know what brush this is. It's an old, old brush. It is so old that the black is starting to, you see it right there? It's starting to just come off. Okay. Setting powder. Let's, let's move on to the brows. Yeah, let me do these brows. They kind of looking a little funny. I need to get those. <laughs> Everything's kind of looking washed out until you get, you know, that bronzer and that blush on. I'm not sure what I wanna do for blush yet. I might wait till the very end. All right, so I'm gonna take my Billion Dollar Beauty. This is a universal brow pencil. There's just a pencil on one side. It's more of like a gel formula, so it glides really nicely. And on the other side, there is a spooling.
Let's clean these up. I'm gonna just take a, I don't generally use the spoolie on the end of the um, billion dollar brow pencil. I don't know why, I just, I, it's weird, I don't know. All right, okay, good enough. It's good enough. To the naked eye, it's good enough. <laughs> All right, moving on. I'm not going to set the brows just yet, but I will use this. I will use something to set the brows. Uh, but let's move on to the bronzer. Um, you know, I think I'm going to just go with the with the with the NARS. Mine is the the original NARS in Laguna. It's good stuff. I know it's old. I know it's old school, but old school stuff is good, you guys. And I'm going to use the Elf Camo uh or I'm not the camo sponge. I'm going to use the e.l.f. complexion duo brush. I love this side of it. I don't generally use this side too much, but let's bronze this face. Let's get some life. Ooh, this side's always darker because I have dark spots versus this. You see how it's not as dark. I do have the dark spots there, but and you're like, well, Carrie, why don't you just go in with a lighter hand on this side? I've tried that. I've tried that. <laughs> it just doesn't, it doesn't seem to work. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need to try again. Little bit on the nose. Summertime comes around here in Florida, I will not be able to contour my nose or put anything, any product on my nose. But right now I can still get away with it a little bit, but it won't be long. My skin's just too oily, guys. It'll just turn into a gunky mess after an hour. Okay, I have a little bit of life in my face. I'm still feeling a little washed out, but that's all right. We trust the process, right? <laughs> okay, so now... I want to get into an eyeshadow palette. It's a new company to me. If you watch my last video of the unboxing, it's the LEJ Beauty. Um, and this is their, but make it grunge. This is LEJ Beauty X Ash Slays. Ash Slays. Ash Slays. I got it this time. Underscore XX. But this is a... Oh, there went the little plastic please, piece. This is a beautiful palette. And I did a first impressions on my last video. I'll link it below. But I, I didn't really get a chance to like really dig into this palette. And, you know, I'm going to use it again because it is just stunning. It is so beautiful. These shimmers here, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me, can I swatch some of them for you? Let me just, let me just do that. How about it? Oh, mamma mia. Hopefully that's focusing. I've been having trouble with. Is it focusing? Oh my gosh, beautiful. Watch how easy this will glide. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Get into the last, the last shade right here. Let's see if I can do something with my thumb. <laughs> There's the last shade. It's not a great swatch, but. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I think I'm just going to use these shades right here. Of course, you're welcome to mix around the palette, but you know me, I like to keep things simple. So I'm going to use this uh, or this row right here. So I'm going to go into the shade right here. It's called Vintage. I um, was really impressed with this company. It's an indie brand I never heard of before. Um, so I kind of give like a background and stuff in my um, previous video. I'm going to just kind of stamp that right here. And now let's blend it. The palette actually looks super intense when you look at it, but it, um, it's buildable, which is great. I love that being able to look at a palette and go, oh my gosh, those are so, so pigmented. And then be really surprised on how beautifully it blends like that color and it not be so like papau in your face, real heavy. I mean, it's like, it's just beautiful. All right. I'm going to do that on this side. 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this purple shade right here, it's called Mary, and I'm gonna start that on the outer V. Let's just tap it in here. This is a BK Beauty 201 brush, I think. <laughs> I think. Yeah, 201. I'm just gonna stamp here and stamp here. Ooh, that's a really beautiful purple. Okay, let's bring it into the crease. I'm gonna add a little bit more. As dark and pigmented, I already said this, that they look in the pan, these are really nice. I mean, you can, they're not, they just go on. And I'm, of course, I'm going in with a real soft hand too, but man, they're not so overpowering where it's just like, oh my gosh, you spend 20 minutes just to blend it out. Man, really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take the first brush that I was using. I'm gonna just kind of stamp it out. It's kind of meld any of these harsh lines together. Ooh, that is so pretty. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that purple color. I'm going underneath the lower lash line with it. Pretty. All right, let's do that on this side. Okay, guys, the eyes are even thus far, looking really, really pretty. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glitter glue and I'm gonna go into the uh, that shimmery shade there in the middle. I'll show you what it is. But let's put the glitter glue on. I'm using AOA Studios Tacky Base. Put it just all over my lid, even up and over in my crease and in my transition area. So this shade right here in the middle, it's called Band T, B-A-N-D, and then T, the letter T. And, okay, so I'm gonna go just put that all over the lid. So beautiful, the sparkle. The sparkle is amazing. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna do that on this side. Okay, so both eyes are even. I'm just gonna take the purple shade. I'm not adding any more, but I'm just gonna stamp out on the outer V here. So, that is so pretty. That is really pretty. All right, what can we do in the inner corner? I think I may but take this shade right here, it's called Nostalgia. And I'm gonna take a brush, a real small, like pointy brush. I'm going into that. I put a little bit of glitter glue in the inner corners when I was putting it on the lid, but let's see. Let's see if this will, will stick. I might need to add a little bit more. Okay. Okay, I think it's sticking. All right, good. Ooh, that is so pretty. That on this side. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna take that nostalgia color. I'm going to add a little bit of glitter glue, and then I wanna put a little bit just underneath the lower lash line. So I'm gonna put some glitter glue on my hand. I'm gonna take it on the brush that I was using. I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter glue right here, right here in the middle. Now I'm gonna dip back into the nostalgia, and then let's put a little bit underneath the lower lash line. Can we see? Oh, yeah. You can really see. <laughs> There's like a chunk of glitter there. Let me see if I can clean that up. 
All right, I don't know if I can clean it up. I don't know what, what it's gonna look like when I show you guys the final look or when certain lighting shows, but it's okay. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, and I'm thinking, do I want to do anything to the brow bone? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna leave the brow bone just how it is. Um, I am going to, I do want a tight line. I'm gonna use a brown um, eyeliner. This is my Essence But First Espresso. I'm gonna tight line tops and bottoms. Let's make these eyes a little bit more sultry. All right, tight lining is done. Starting to look really, really pretty. Definitely very, very sparkly. Um, all right, so let's move on to the mascara. I think, I think I'm gonna use the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational. It's what I used yesterday or in the last video when I was filming. So it's kind of like readily available. <laughs> Okay guys, mascara is on. I wanna set the brows before I forget. <laughs> I'm gonna use the LA Girl Brow Perfect. This is the Extreme Hold Styling Gel. It's just a clear, just brow gel. But it does a good job of, um, of setting, but I feel like there's other ones out there that are cheaper, like the e.l.f. Um, uh, let me, I'll show you what it is in just one second. If you're in the market for a good clear, um, like eyebrow setting, you know, just clear gel, I use the e.l.f. This is the uh, clear brow and gel mascara. One side is like for mascara, one side's for your brows, but it's the same formula, e.l.f. You can't fool us. So I use this for my, my setting my brows also, and it, it works really, really well. Uh, I just happened to buy this on a sale, but this is $7.99, and I think this is like three bucks. So the e.l.f. The e.l.f. wins it as far as price goes. I want to put some blush on. Actually, no, before I put blush on, let's use, I want to use another product that I purchased from um, LEJ Beauty, and this is a liquid highlight serum, I think they call it. Um, it's a mini size, by the way. And this is in the shade Scantillate. It's a super just bright uh, kind of pearlized. There might be a shift of pink in there, but I'm gonna use just a beauty blender. I've already, it's already damp. I'm gonna dip in what's on my hands. Let's see, let's see how this works. And then I'll go with blush. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let me, you know what? It was pulling a little bit when I dipped the damp beauty blender. So let me see, let me try um, with my fingers. So I'm gonna put, a, I put another little, I put another little like dab. Okay, so it's on my finger. Let's do it on the other side. I'm gonna use my finger on this side. Oop, sorry, wrong finger. Oh, well, ignore it. Definitely way better with the finger versus the, the damp beauty blender. I don't know if the particular formula in this is um, not mixing well, maybe with the damp beauty blender. Um, maybe if you want to, um, Awfully beautiful though, really pretty. Maybe if we want to just calm it down, you know, with with the beauty blender, maybe we can just stamp it out, calm it down a little bit. But for application, that worked better with the fingers. Okay, all right, okay. Now we can do some blush. Let me clean up my hands here. All right, so kind of debating what kind of blush do I want? I'm just gonna grab one. I'm gonna use the MAC. Um, this is Desert Rose. This is just a matte powder blush. And let's just get a angled. Let's... Okay. 
go, even going right over where I put the, okay, where I put the highlight. Because I put the highlight on first, it's giving the highlighter just a nice pretty like little shift of like a pink. It's pretty. Okay, you guys, the blush is on. It looks really, really pretty. The face is starting to come together a little bit more. Um, so now what's left? Oh, lips. <laughs> brain fart, brain fart. Oh man, I'm having too many of those lately, you guys. Um, anyway, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the lip products that I did purchase from L, uh, uh, L E J beauty, I almost said Ellie girl, L E J beauty. Um, and one of those things happened to be a lip liner and this lip liner is in the shade. Oh, I can't, I don't know. It doesn't say the shade. You know what? Okay. Now I realize, yes, if you watched my unboxing video, it had a sticker with the name on it. I didn't realize that when I took that sticker off that there would be no name. I thought maybe the name would have been carved on here. So anyways, um, I don't remember the name, but this is what it looks like. Very, it's very beautiful. I'll link it below for you guys though. <laughs> I don't, don't, now I realize the error of my ways. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Oops. I accidentally overlined this side of my lip. I swear, I feel like <laughs> when I watch these YouTubers do their lips, I'm like, they, 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 it's like perfection because they all have these beautiful like fake lips. Me, I'm just using what I was born with. And I swear, I feel like I, I mess it up uh, more times than not. But anyways, <laughs> all right. I'm gonna use a lipstick from Ellie J Beauty. And this is in the lipstick Cappuccino. This is a satin lipstick, I believe. Um, I can't remember. Oh, dropping things. I, um, I can't remember how it was described, but it's a, it's, it's a satin, it's not a matte lip. It's a beautiful nude though. Man, it is like the like a perfect nude shade. All right, let me clean it up. And it just mixed so nicely with the liner, like it was perfect together. Ooh, so nice. All right, so I'm gonna take it one step further. I am gonna use the Ellie J. Um, this is a plumping lip gloss, and it's in more, please. It's just gonna add some shine. That's all that it's gonna do. And perhaps maybe it'll plump my lips. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> um, I did use it in my unboxing video, but you know, I used it like at the end of the video, which I should have used it first. But anyways, here we go. Gives really beautiful shine. Man, it's just so shiny. Smells like mint, smells really good. All right, one more step that I wanna do before I show you the final look. I wanna spray the face. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, the vitamin C. Okay guys, the setting spray is dry. It's time for me to show you the final look. Okay guys, this makeup look is complete. That is doing a full face of some old products, some new products, just having fun with makeup, you guys. Nothing special, just thank you for just letting me sit here, put on makeup, have fun with you guys. Comment below, tell me what you think. I love the palette. I think that it is a great palette. I think that this indie brand, LAJ Beauty, again, I'm gonna link the video that I did of the unboxing, I'll link it below and I'll link all the products below. But I think that this company, 
I mean, indie brands just know what they're doing, but man, I really love this, this palette. Um, I feel like it is just so easy to work with and it is a color story that I am super drawn to. Um, I think that the, uh, liquid serum highlight best used, of course, with a finger versus the beauty blender. Um, I really love um, the plumping gloss, like it's just, it's soothing on the lips. It's a little tingly without it being overboard. It smells really nice. Not sending my sinuses into a whirlwind, beautiful packaging. Um, what else did I use? All my old products, you know, my foundation, my primers and stuff. Those are, I use those all the time, but the makeup, like the actual like eyes and some of the products like this, this was kind of new to me. So I really like how the eyes came out. Um, but comment below, tell me what you think. <laughs> Please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.